Ryan? How about uh, those Mariners? <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. They love the drama, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Drama. Love it. Uh, Brian, still only two goals in like five matches here. So we're, are you still pleased with the way things are uh, um, allowed? Yeah. Goals allowed. Oh, goals allowed. Goals allowed. Okay. Still pleased with the Yeah, we got four last game. I was like, oh, wait no, no, a no, no. Allowed. It's my fault. Two goals allowed. Yeah. So they so say far. defense travels. That's that's kind of what defense wins championships. Yeah. Uh, look, today we our normal match day minus one. We play small side of games and a little three v two transition game. It's in tight. Lots of goals scored, but maybe not so many goals scored today again because I thought Jacob. Cleveland and Steph Fry, they were they were on fire today. And again, it's testament to those three, but also my good friend Tommy. Uh, in order to, you know, maintain a good defensive team squad, you got to start with your goalkeeping first. That's number one. So they clean up a lot of the mess that the field players give them. And Steph's been like that for many years. Got some young ones coming up too that are really talented goalkeepers. Brian, ninth straight against the LA Galaxy. Something you bring up? Or? I didn't know that was there. <laughs> yeah, it came up. Yeah. MLS <laughs> stats. But more importantly, uh, getting to a, to a good start, fast start, if you will, or, whatever, or, or, or a decent start on the road again. Yeah, okay, start. Start. okay, start. Okay, start. You did that last game. How important is it to continue that? You know, we got to back up a good road performance by another one. That's the key. You can't just be sporadic, you know, up, down, up, down. Coaches, team, like consistency. So, you know, we talked about our road record in 2021, 9, 4, and 4. Can we match some of that? Can we get there again? Uh, are we a good road team? Yes. Do I have confidence? Yes. So, it'll be a good test. Galaxy, you know, look, they, they struggle, but they got good players. To be honest, okay. they're a good team. Probably should have started with this. Any injuries? Are we ready to pull? Uh, no. Kellen Rowe and uh, Dylan Tevis. Well, not Dylan Tevis. How have the uh, players on international duty reintegrated with the squad here coming back? Good. Good. Alex is there. New who was the only one that came back a little later than most because he had to fly from South Africa. So, but he's young. He's Healthy. You said earlier this week that uh, the, the lineup decisions and the formation decisions was keeping you up at night. How did you sleep the last few days trying to figure out how to put this together? Well, look, I sleep okay, but yeah, there are some perplexing uh, choices. Not perplexing choices, but uh, how would I want to put it? It's the right adjective. Uh, challenging choices. There are a lot of, you know, you got Raul coming back from international duty. Jordan scored four. A Bear was kind of the guy in the first couple games of the year. He's back from injury, 100% healthy. The Jordan scored four. So does the does the four goals influence the way? I mean, you stay with the hot hand. Is that is that something you can do something, in soccer? Yeah, oh, yeah. Or? oh yeah, you can do that. It's not it's not you know hasn't been my style, but yeah, sure you can do. It. Talked to Christian on Wednesday, and he said, uh, you know, he's had some horrific moments against the LA Galaxy. And he's, and his like, point was he loves playing at home. Can you just talk about it? Yeah. So the Galaxy is home, Alex. They got a lot of fond memories down there. So it was good to see family, play in front of family. What can you say about your, you are a transition team, as you said, but what can you just say about how it's really working? Because it, it's, it's been able to turn games around. Transition in the modern game of soccer is critical. Whether you win the ball higher up the field and you go to, <clears throat> and you go to goal, if your opponent is unbalanced, or whether it's way back here, like you know, you see Jordan, you know, 50 yards, chew the other day against Kansas City, some of those types of transition moments. So, anytime we talk about transition, there's different areas of the field. So, yeah, we're good at it. Pretty large. When I talked to him, he said that there's a concept where you guys, once you get that ball, there's a, the 
I wouldn't even say a certain amount of time you, you get the ball and you're you you're looking to to put down pressure. First pass forward, yeah. Yeah. It's, we're always trying to look for the first pass going forward. Play negative, teams press you. Everybody counter presses nowadays. You can break their first line of press. Opens up the transition moments. You started by mentioning the Mariners. Do you have a, a Mariners prediction here for 2023? Let's go to the World Series. Love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> got a good squad. They got a good squad. I mean, people were fired up. Do you talk with Scott Service at all? Do you have a connection with him at all? Uh, I actually met him at a, uh, I don't know what you call it, a, a, an immense club, but a, a, a club that a bunch of guys go to. Real nice chat with him, sat with him at dinner. Nice guy, down to earth, humble, you know, Midwest guy. We got along really good. It was, it was nice meeting him. Nice guy. Yeah, anything else? Hey.